Hey, everybody. How we doing? Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're back with some Dairy Girls here. Yeah. We're only two episodes deep, but we really... We're really enjoying the show. I, I love this show. Um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, it's, it's. They're not doing a whole lot to go over the top, but the facial expressions and the accents and the the the, the dry humor is so funny yeah. to me. It's just so well cast. Yeah, and, and again, the, the the characters are so well delineated, mm-hmm. um, it, it differentiate from one another. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, everyone's kind of got unique personalities, and I love it. And apparently, we underestimated the the, the quality of fish and chips in <laughs> Ireland because we've been told that. Um, the fish and chips are fantastic enough that actually being banned from a fish and chips restaurant yeah. would be a massive deal. Well, I had fish and chips when I was in London. Obviously, it's not the same country. Sure. I understand that. Um, <laughs> but still, pretty good. You know? <laughs> right. Uh, I found out, though, the best fish and chips in London were the ones that they were selling kind of as like a street vendor. Oh, yeah. Because we went to restaurants and stuff, and we got them there, and I was like, yeah, it's okay. The street vendor fish and chips? Oh, my God. I get it, guys. I would definitely uh, I'd clean a fryer for some fish and chips. Sure. <laughs> and here in the Midwest America and states don't where bother. we live, <laughs> don't bother with the, the fish and chips. The fish chips isn't great here. No. Um, but, you know, you would live in the landlocked middle of a, of a large uh, country. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get great seafood. Oh, That's no, just we're, we are, we're, we're resigned to the fact that we have to travel it's to get good seafood anyway. Area. <laughs> 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 I mean, really, we're surrounded by cows. Um, but uh, no, uh, absolutely fantastic show. Um, very well cast. Um, obviously, the actresses are significantly older than the characters mm, they're yeah. playing, but they're doing it so well that it's not distracting or bothersome in any way. Sure. Um, it's kind of like when we were watching Pen Fifteen, right? I keep it does. Pen 15. It, it, you know, yeah, these were twenty-five-year-old girls playing middle schoolers, and that was part of the gag of the show. Mm-hmm. But they were so good at it that after a while, you forgot it. It's part of the you show. Know? Yeah, it, yeah, it's just like okay, that just becomes the world of the show, and you and you and you buy it. You know, you, you that that suspension of disbelief happens, and I mm-hmm. think it, it works um, fantastically well here. Do you love? Obviously, once again, this is not a British show, but do you like? British humor, that kind of dry. Um, for for the most part, I'm I'm honestly not a huge like Monty Python fan, and I know I'm so glad you said that because I'm not really either. Yeah, I, <laughs> I when I was a kid, all my friends loved uh, the Holy Grail movie, and I was like, great, you've said all the lines to me at this point. Let's watch it, and mm-hmm. I was like. By the time you see it, by the time you see it, I was like, yeah. "All right, you know." Mm-hmm. And I watched it later as an adult, and kind of the same thing. Watched Life of Brian. I like that one more than Holy Grail. But it's still, still, but still, it's like yeah. okay, you know. It, it, I was a Mel Brooks kid. I honestly, the like the um, Benny Hill humor and the Monty Python television series, I liked better than the films. Yeah, it's more and, sketch. And one of my favorite movies is uh, A Fish Called Wanda, which is obviously sure. very, Junkly. very British humor, right? Yeah. yeah, and you know, but at any rate, um, this I find is, it relaxing. This is nor- this is obviously Northern Ireland and not England, but we don't have a whole lot of exposure to to Irish. Uh, entertainment here well the reason i brought it up is because it, it feels similar right sure same i mean it's the same it's still the uk right yeah so i mean it's it's that that brand of humor i'm sure is you know pretty spot on yeah no, i i think this is utterly fantastic yeah, yeah um, i'm enjoying it i do find it relaxing mm-hmm. which i think is nice um it's not like pen 15 where it's gross out humor it's just you know it's witty it's, it's yeah, really it's, smart it's really fun and i can't wait to keep going with it we do want to go ahead and welcome nop tom ward Farai Quisha, mm-hmm. Floor Preza, and Paula Pierce to our Patreon group. Thanks so much for being here with us, guys. We're very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you want the like button for us, leave us a comment down below. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watched, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. On all shows, including Dairy Girls, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon if we're on YouTube. So if you finish this and want to keep going over on Patreon, that's the way to do it. You will absolutely have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. We're also watching 30 Rock as a Patreon exclusive. Oh, yeah. All right. I just can't get my head around it. The fact that he's gone. The dog or the grandpa? I think it's the dog. (laughs) Me too, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. Has his sudden tragic death interrupted your studies? Well, that's a bit, actually, yeah. I shouldn't even have to sit the exam. And you know, compassionate groans. He was a dog, Aaron! That's it. Okay, yeah. Oh. Sweet suffering! Jesus, it's the morning already! What are we gonna do? We're still on William of Orange, Michelle. We haven't so much luck at the famine. We've got the gist. They ran out of spots. Everyone was raging. There's quite a lot of caffeine in those clubs. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. I don't know, five, 23. Oh my God, no. Yeah. 
I've been to study sleepovers before, but I mean, that's rough. I mean, yeah. How do you lose track of time like that? I'll have a cup of tea, Sojo. Make your own tea. <laughs> yeah. I, I love how she hates him. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that done. God rest his least soul. Look, don't talk to me. I was in bits last night. <laughs> We got away with this subject. Yeah. I have no idea what she just said. Morning, Malarkey's ticker just passed away. We do not utter that woman's name in this house. Look, Dan, at the bingo thing still. Mommy. I'm tricking it up. What happened to Toto? It's just hit me so hard. If you fail the exam, I promise you, there'll be a nice wee plot out there with your name on it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Look at her. <laughs> I really like that shot. That's yeah. Cool. It's shot so well. It's just... It is. Amazing. We're all going to fail. We're all going to get our holes kicked. We're all in the same boat. I don't want to be in that boat. Oh, my God, look. Doesn't that dog look like Toto? Oh, I suppose it does a bit, yeah. Don't you think it's so freaky? No, it's just a dog that looks a bit like another dog. Quick, come on. You give that grandfather of yours a Oh, this is the lady with the magic bed, yeah. You should tell him to keep his bloody mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great time. music cue there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you'll definitely pass. It was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all like, okay, we can try it. I saw with my own eyes. So what? She smirked. Holy smirk, thanks be to God. <laughs> You're a man. Yeah, She's always game for everything. She's yeah. always the yes man to the group. <laughs> Yeah. One. Oh, <laughs> Two. I mean, have a better respect. Just crying because the pee's running yeah. down. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> just crying real tears. Oh my god. I really think they're gonna make us sit exam after seeing this? May have oh my god. Point. So we've had an alleged apparition here this morning. Well, it's in the weeping statue category. I think, girls, I don't really think beyond the exam or us getting out of doing it before this goes any further, before we talk to this priest, there is something I think you all need to know. This is another flea bag hot priest yeah. thing, isn't it? We're yeah. The priest in the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Mary? <laughs> Nothing. Ignore me. Forget it. Hello, children. Hello, Father. Oh, Father. <sighs> Dose. So, before you begin, <laughs> do you guys have any questions for me? Is that your real eye color? So you claim you saw our Blessed Lady's features change, is that right? Uh, the Virgin Muller's mark with us, Peter, yeah, that was correct. I saw. You think we're lying, don't you? No, of course not. I do. But sometimes <laughs> we want to believe in something so much that we willingly deceive ourselves. I mean... Like, oh no. It's, he's like having a his own crisis of faith right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. No, <laughs> How do you know our Lord doesn't think he's a dick? Our Lord doesn't think anyone's a dick. I very much doubt that. Well, it's the truth. Aaron's dog died recently and she saw one that sort of looked like him a bit. The dog's relevant. So we, we, we followed him for a while. If the dog led you to the chapel. The dog isn't important. Maybe it is. What if it actually was your dog? What? Right. Toto was sent back to lead you to that chapel, to that Where? statue. So this guy's not, not a brilliant priest. Peter's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have been chosen. Oh, Peter. It's all just so overwhelming. This message from on high comes on the very day you happen to have an exam, which I know for a fact you haven't as much as they've opened a book for. Why are you <laughs> encouraging all this? I wouldn't say I'm encouraging. I, I'm, I'm just done with her on this, yeah. Possibility. This is all about Peter's thing. Yeah. We must look in the burial place. What's he saying? Gonna, I knew I it. They're going to dig up the dog. Dig up I knew it. The wee dead dog's grave. What? I knew it. As soon as I saw the grave, I was like, something's going to happen. Why do I identify with the head nun more than anybody else in the show? Remember. Yeah. It was puss. What was the tears on the statue? Well, I actually have good reason to believe they were actually dog puss. I was going to tell you all earlier, but then Peter showed up and there's just this instant connection. Like a spark. We need to tell the truth. <laughs> no, no. F There's no way Claire's going to be able to no, get through this. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could tell the truth, but I sort of like the fact that Peter thinks I'm the chosen one. So. What's become of us? <laughs> 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 I 
I don't want to see the dog. I don't yeah. want to see this. They're not going to show it. No this way. Not... Who works for the account? I can't explain. Thanks be to God. Oh my God. Was the dog never dead in the first place? Maybe it was the dog. I don't know. That your right father. He has risen. He was never in that box. No. Yeah. See, she knows. Yeah. It is vital to keep a low profile for a bit. Do you hear me, Malarkey? She gave the dog away. She gave the dog away. Why were you ringing her, Mommy? It's none of your business. Mine? I'll ask her myself. You gave Toto to Maureen Malarkey? We take her had just passed. He staged his death, ma. I thought I'd yeah, lost him. Yeah, that's messed up. I've lost him. We're not taking him back. Oh, my God. We've watched two shows from across the pond now, and in both of them, the, the, the main character's hit on a priest. Hot Irish priest, too. <laughs> yeah. Who knows, if God hadn't sent me this sign, I might have even left the priesthood to be with her. What if he didn't? I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, she thinks it's her, and she's going to mess up. It's not true. What? We're lying. We've been lying. There was no oh smirking, God. no weakman. The dog's not even dead. We're free. We can be together. Oh my god! I've decided to follow in your footsteps. I've decided to serve God. Don't be such a dick, James. Have you seen this? Wicked hoax. <laughs> I love how James is still going around with the ladies' line. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was that was that that was a crazy. <laughs> I would say. Uh, I would say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the character of Peter. Yeah, just being so self-absorbed and <laughs> obviously <laughs> having a crisis of faith the whole episode. Yeah, the the the, the revelation there was was pretty hard to watch. Um, yeah. I <laughs> I just love how extreme this whole family is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Would it be a tough hang? Probably, but I feel like I would be like pulled back in there. <laughs> oh, well, everyone has different motivations, but they're also earnest in them, and they yeah, just chase yeah. them at a hundred miles an hour, which is a really interesting way to do a comedy. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that nobody's ma even Michelle? Sure. Nobody's malintended, really. No. Every everyone's kind of like, you know, rationalizing what they do. Mm -hmm. Than what they think in a way that like X makes sense for my life, so I'm going to go 100 miles an hour at it, yeah. and everyone's doing it, and it's everyone doing it, and it takes them all in completely different directions, and the result is hilarious and chaotic, and I love it. I just like how distinct each character is too. Yeah, you know what I mean, like shout out to Orla by the way, her voice is so raspy. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. it, it it's so distinct. Um, I love how she's always just game for whatever. Oh, for sure. She's the yes man of the group. Obviously, you have the wild card. Um. Oh my goodness, what's her name? Uh, the, the one that said she looked amazing in the top. Oh, uh, Michelle? That's Michelle. Yeah, yeah, that's Michelle. And then, obviously, Claire and Aaron. Mm -hmm. They're pretty similar. But right. At the same time, Claire's like the more extreme version of Aaron, you know? For sure, right. I just love it. And, like, all the facial expressions that Aaron makes, she's so goofy. Yeah. This show is, like, it's a winner. It's a winner. It really is a winner, man. Like, yeah, it is. Uh, I, and I really hope we get more of the family in future episodes, too. Because, like, yeah, definitely. I want to spend an episode with them. Like, they are hilarious to me. The grandpa is so freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, he's great. And how the father is pretty much the James of the adult group. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, he really is. <laughs> and, and I love the, uh, the, the, the other disdain that the grandfather has for the father. Mm. And it's just... Since, it's your own cup of tea. Since yeah, since <laughs> since the pilot has been completely unmasked, you yeah. know, completely unmasked, and they're just every everything is just done at at such a, a frantic level. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Thirty Rock in that you know where sure. it's just like we're just gonna you know we're gonna here's our story and we're just gonna go for it. Yeah. Um. And 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 everything that ensues is is so well done and beat to beat to beat the the comedy is done perfectly in this show. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's it, you said we were talking about John Cleese earlier. I I feel like Peter. Reminded me of a very young John Cleese. Sure, bit. you know right, he's not yeah. as extreme right, as right. John Cleese was, but there's a similar cadence to mm -hmm. the comedy. You know, it's it, it, like I said, it's very dry humor, but it's um, it's hilarious. It's really hysterical. Yeah, and Olaf thinking when they're going to go to Rome to meet the big guy, and she thinks it's Pavarotti. Pavarotti. I don't know why, because that that, that really got me because it's such a random person to throw yeah. out. Like, oh, the big guy, Pavarotti. No, big M got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big M. Yeah. Um, God, the setup was so good here. Yeah, um, yeah this is an utterly fantastic show. Um, 
I I don't know how many writers they have on it, but I feel like the writers' mm-hmm. room would be a lot of fun on this. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the process is going to be a little bit different, being a non-American sitcom thing. Because sure, you know the the the, the big difference, obviously, you, you know, in writing rooms for a, a show like this versus like an American sitcom mm-hmm. is you've got to sit down in an American sitcom and crank out 25 episodes a year, right? Yeah. 20 to 24 episodes a year generally. Yeah. And they don't do that. Um, and I feel like that generally, you know, obviously it's going to be less content, but it gives you the chance to make really, really good, solid Quality. content, right? Yeah. Instead of just like, we've got to sell ads for no, sure. for six months, you know? And that's why I like I like British TV and, yeah. and Irish TV as well, because um, like Sherlock, right? love that. But you had to wait, what is it, like, four or five years at a time there's maybe season, there's you know? maybe a dozen or 15 episodes of that show yeah yeah, yeah. right it, over i think there's less actually you know? right over many oh, yeah four seasons worth over many years yeah so it, it's a really interesting setup to do but I, I think it does produce um you know pretty solid content it really yeah is. i mean yeah you can you can really take your time with it you know um it's like a movie kind of right it, it, you know and, and there's that streaming to american streaming shows that you can tell to you know fewer episodes so that so the content that the quality content's higher mm-hmm. um the marvelous mrs Maisel is a good example sure. of you're doing eight to ten episodes a year so you can really take your time set up your shots write your episodes yeah. develop your characters and your relationships well mm-hmm. and instead of like the, the mad dash to like more 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 sell ads lots more 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 sell ads lots yeah. and that, that's not a knock on american sitcoms because it's just different it's yeah it's, it's it's a different style um and you know kudos to the you know you look at something like 30 rock mm-hmm. or like new girls like yeah they're cranking out 24 episodes a year and they're crushing it while they're doing it you yeah. know like that's not but easy that, to but do also how many writers do they have yeah, like, yeah sure yeah. I, yeah I mean I'm sure the writers room is, is big like I said I read bossy pants once and you know Tina Fey talked about it, some of the individual writers and that's how I knew that Donald uh Donald Glover. Donald Glover was one of the writers on the show um so yeah you have a big writers room of talented people um so I'm not really sure again looking at a show like this what the mm-hmm. writers room looks like but my god do they get the beats right on the jokes they really do I wish we could see um they don't play the credits before the show starts obviously which I kind of wish they did because I want to see who's involved in this I've sure. been avoiding IMDB or Wikipedia just because I don't want to spoil anything right. the yeah uh, maybe after the first season I'll hop on there and take a look and just see who wrote it mm-hmm. and who's the showrunner because um I wonder if any of these girls are involved I would imagine, sure. I would imagine yeah, that's, some of the stars are probably involved. But yeah. it's possible. That's pretty. That, that, you know, that's pretty universal. Like um, on Fleabag. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's that's what I think of. Yeah, she, uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Yeah, Phoebe Waller-Bridge did a lot of the was the head writer on the show and yeah. the creator. So yeah, it's you know it's it's possible that some of these some of these ladies because again you know they're they may be playing 15 year olds but they're they're not they're <laughs> they're they're, not. they're they're in their 20s at least yeah. by the time the show starts some of them in their 30s um which but, i miss fleabag too by the way oh, yeah God. i love fleabag and i hope she comes back and does another season but you know beggars I'm, 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 I'm in the beggar category <laughs> but no this is uh this is incredibly well done. Really I really enjoyable. Like, this yeah. is like a nice, like, oh, I'm, it's early in the morning. I'm having some cereal. <laughs> I would love to just watch Dairy Girls all day. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, <laughs> and it, it is pretty bingeable, isn't it? I, I think so. All right, guys, we will catch you on the next one. See ya.